Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome to From the Depths, Most Wanted, The Corsair. And so first off, um, some of the more veteran From the Depths players among you might be thinking, Borderwise, what is this? What, what, why do you keep doing this? The, the Corsair is not hard, what are you doing? Well, uh, there's two reasons for covering The Corsair on Most Wanted, which we haven't, uh, we haven't had one of those for a while, and so we're going to get back into it. Uh, the first reason is that it was on the list. Somebody, I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was, requested this ages ago, and I actually think the thing's been updated multiple times since then. And, uh, so yeah, it was, it's uh, worth covering, I feel. And the second reason is, uh, for the new players, basically, because remember, From the Depths, uh, not From the Depths, sorry, the uh, Most Wanted is basically about the things that people have trouble with. Not necessarily the very hardest craft in the game, because it's weird. Sometimes the things that uh, people uh, struggle with in uh, playing the campaign in From the Depths isn't necessarily the biggest and baddest vehicles. It's just the things that, for whatever reason, they keep running into and keep being annoying. So the Corsair has definitely got potential to be one of these things. Uh, so the main reason it's threatening is that it's uh, threatening to two things, and that is uh, new players who are not expecting it, and small flyers, which uh, are not built to very exacting standards. And so uh, this thing is very much a glass cannon, it is, um, or a wood cannon rather, it's made of mostly of wood, it has lousy protection generally all around, but it does have decent firepower. So, um, yeah, so start off with, it's got this APS in the front here, which is a 174mm timed flak frag. And, in case anyone's wondering, this is a pretty decent all-round anti-air shell. Like, uh, the flak damage is pretty decent, like, it is weak against armor, but anything that's not particularly well armored is gonna, uh, get fried pretty quickly. It's very good at knocking off, um, little bits of planes, like, uh, the aerolons, the wings, and just anything that it, uh, basically anything that's not well armored is going to have a horrible time when this shell comes their way. And the damage per fragment is um, quite uh, substantial. You're going to have issues if you get shot with this. And it also has a whole bunch of IR missiles, uh, which is, um, IR missiles are generally not particularly threatening, except if you're running with um, craft that use a lot of hot jets, and these aren't amazing so these are called prediction guy oh yeah they did change the name of that uh, yeah so these are prediction guidance they've got a few fins they're quite maneuverable turn rate of 62.5 uh, degrees um, per second at max and only a little bit less at minimum just gonna move my microphone a lot over so i can see and uh, yeah so these are small missiles basically uh, it can spam these things, and it can knock uh, planes that aren't ready for it out of the air quite easily. And I'll demonstrate that through spawning in a Steel Striders plane. Spawn in a spiral. So it spits out a whole bunch of missiles. It has that uh, AA gun, and you can see bits get knocked off, and the spiral gets knocked out of the sky. So if your uh, level of plane building is uh, roughly where the spiral's at, uh, the Corsair is kind of going to be a problem for you because, and uh, you might be thinking this isn't a particularly strong craft. You're right, it isn't. Um, it is quite small, so it's only about 50 meters long. It's quite cheap, it's only about 30k materials, less than that actually. Uh, which means that um, uh, when you find this thing, it is probably not going to be by itself, and it's going to come in numbers. So, uh, that is kind of the measure of this thing, is that, uh, assuming it spawns in with something like this, for instance. Let's go here, let's spawn in another medium thing. If it spawns in uh, next to uh, something like this, uh, which is a much bigger target with a lot more guns on it. This is the Kraken, by the way. Um, the thing is going to get a few shots off uh, before you manage to kill uh, either the bigger target or this one. So it's one of those craft that if you're like if you're uh, already good at from the depths, you probably don't have to worry about it. But 
uh, if you're new to this game or if you make the mistake of underestimating it, uh, the thing will hurt you. It will hurt your feelings and your craft and your body if it will get away with it. So yeah, that. all that being said, it is... Um, this is going to be quite a short Let's Wanted. Let's Wanted. Most Wanted. Uh, already. It's got reverse gear as well, I just noticed. Uh, it is very delicate. So most of the... It is made of wood. And particularly, if you go down here... And uh, it's most of its vital components are, firstly, like, very, very close to... Well, they're not behind much protection at all. This is a metal beam, wood beam, wood beam. Well, no, not even that. Metal beam, uh, wood beam, and a wood slope right here. And uh, I believe right down here there is one, two... Yep, there's two layers of wood between the ammo compartment, uh, which is right next to the AI, and the big scary outside world. So, uh, when this thing gets hit in the explodey bits, the whole thing goes up like a Roman candle. And so, this is very much a... It just collided with the Kraken. Bravo, guys. Bravo, bravo. So, yeah, it is, um... It is very, very delicate. And the IR missiles are easily distracted, and I can show you that by doing this. Spawn you in, and I will just spawn in a vehicle of mine that happens to have flurs. Now let's go here, ships. Turn your head, and you are not allowed to fire, my friend. So the split second these IR missiles um, get fired, uh, sticky flares do a really good job of distracting them, especially since the, these missiles don't have signal processes on them. So one good flare on your craft and just the IR missiles are basically useless, so that is a handy thing to have. So those missiles are only really a problem uh, for craft that for whatever reason they don't have decoys or they don't have uh, decent flares on them. So yeah. Uh, it's got a very exposed turret as well, and max speed is 20 meters per second, it's not particularly fast, or faster, as I've written here for some reason. Also, its own flares are not particularly impressive, so these are just uh, flares for countering... Well, for one thing, they're small decoys, so they don't actually do that much. And, um, yeah, defense-wise, it's not very strong. So if you fire back at it, and it doesn't have friends around to help it, it will die, and it will die pretty quickly. The trick is getting it on its own in order to kill it quickly. In case you're wondering, uh, this particular craft is more than twice as expensive as the Corsair, so this was never a particularly fair fight. So yeah, so how do you survive it? Well, you do pretty much uh, what the twin head is doing right here. Uh, this is quite a decently armored craft. It's got multiple layers of metal all over it. In fact, I think it's something like... Let's go here. Dang it. So if you've got at least two layers of metal all over the place, uh, you are pretty much safe uh, from it. Well, this is just one layer of metal over here. Uh, basically, if you have decent armoring, uh, there's not an awful lot that the Corsair can do to hurt you. Armor is heavy and expensive. Yep, there, she just disintegrated. Uh, but it's worth it when uh, craft are lobbing frag shells at you. So, yeah, and you do need that IR decoy if you do not have some kind of missile decoy when you go up against a Corsair. Uh, you will be um, in deep doo-doo. So, just occurred to me, since this is mostly for the new people, this is how you set up a basic flare system. You get an automated control block next to a missile controller. Well, not necessarily next to, but that's the simple way to do it. When there are missiles detected within 3,000 meters, it'll fire this missile controller, and you get munition warners here to detect the missile, and then it lobs something like this. You don't really need a large missile for this, but it does have really good heat, digno uh, heat decoy signal strength and radar simulator signal strength. So I tend to use, lar use large missiles for this. Don't mind the mimic cram barrel, it's just there for giggles. So, and as for how to kill it, well, 
as you would have just uh, seen, uh, the thing dies if you so much as sneeze at it. So if we spawn in just three of these right here. Yep, that was one uh, decent cram shell, and the thing dies pretty much immediately. So, yeah, the thing, like, very much this is a case of, like, why was this... Again, this thing is getting a most wanted because it's been requested and because this thing can be genuinely annoying if you're uh, not focusing fire on it because it just does dump a load of ducker your way. So yeah, and so as for how to kill it, well, whatever you like really, but um, you can never go wrong with just blowing it up with missiles, with simple, with simple weapons, with crams, whatever have you. And um, if you really uh, want to be absolutely sure of surviving uh, this thing, uh, well, it's got no torpedoes, so you can never go wrong with a submarine. So that's basically it. This was a very short little uh, Most Wanted because, well, as I said, for a veteran player, the Corsair is not really a threat at all. But uh, if you're a new player, if you're just starting out with From the Depths, uh, this thing might be one of any number of uh, interesting surprises coming your way. So it's, uh, it's good to be prepared for it ahead of time. Especially if you're just uh, having a go at the NATO campaign early without spending a zillion years in the designer. So, uh, that's a nice quick one. So, good luck on the NATO campaign now. Now that you know how to deal with one of the annoying craft that the Deepwater Guard will send your way. And thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or through the YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Most Wanted. Farewell.